Hello, everybody, and welcome to the sixth episode of Time Torch. I'm the host with the most, your boy, Jay Snapshot. I'm here with the family, the crew, the other core members. We are here ready to have a good time. I hope you are having a good time, noon, night, day, done, whatever time you are listening to this podcast, man. I'm going to let everybody else introduce themselves, and then we're going to get into this podcast. we got a really good episode ahead of us. Let's go. What's going on, guys? I'm Ricky back again. You know, he was, what, my fourth or fifth episode in a row? Eat, eat. What's going on, guys? It's Jack. I, it's been a while, but I'm back. Terribly sorry for the fans out there, but I had some other stuff to do. For the fans. For the fans. Uh, <laughs> and I'm John, and this is my uh, first time on the Time Torch podcast. Special guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. special guest. <laughs> okay. My boy, uh, shout out John Prosper, bro. Shout out Rick oh, Yeah, First one. <laughs> hey, no. That was late. This is the first special guest on the podcast, is it not? No, second. Vinny was on here before he was in the court. True. Uh, yeah. True. True. That counts. That counts. That counts. All right. But anyway, man, we have, as you can see, a lot to talk about. A lot of big news. A lot of things has been happening um, since the last episode. Uh, just before we even start off anything, uh, definitely not. It's not a topic right now, but we just want to give a shout out to um, all of Chadwick Boseman's family and his friends and everyone that was affected by his death. That was really fucked up. That, like 2020 is like, yo. Know, it wins, bro. Like, Yo, I quit. I've been quit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 2020 is really cancer, bro. That's fucked up. Bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> hey, fuck off, cancer, I, though. Yo, it fuck kind of blew cancer. my mind because I didn't know too. he had cancer. I Nobody did, bro. Nobody did. Yeah. And it's crazy, and it speaks to his character and his uh, strong will that this man was doing fucking action movies with fucking stage four. Yeah, bro, you recorded like a lot of movies. Man, that's oh, ridiculous. Dang, that's bro. But rest in peace, uh, rest in power to that man, man. Sure. Definitely gonna be missed. Definitely gotta get some some fan art or t shirt yes, or some, some of that nature. All right, so we are going to um I'm gonna break down this podcast if you never listened to this podcast before. Uh first we start off with topics. We just gonna dive into topics. I'm not doing no quarter of the week or no quote or nothing like that right now. We're here just gonna dive oh straight into the topics. <laughs> Shut up. We're gonna dive straight into the topics, man. And each person here has a topic on the board. We're gonna talk about these topics and uh and uh discuss them between the two of us. Excuse me. Two and, of us. I mean this two of us, four of us. Good discuss word. between everybody's gonna give their opinions. And um uh, oh, yeah, miss just, education, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Next after that, we are going to jump into the DNP portion of the podcast. It's definitely not perfect where we have a couple questions or advice that you guys ask us, and we are going to try our best to give you advice. It's not going to be great, but we're going to give it. And then next, we don't have any rumors for this week, um, and we are going to talk about the past rumors um, and see if there was any truth to those, because there actually was. Cause I there was a rumor. lot. We talked about yeah. a lot of stuff in the last podcast, and it happened. Yeah, so we, we're going to touch on some of those in, in the room and meal. Okay, so let's jump into this first topic. Call of Duty on PC. Huge. Very Huge deep. news. Very who, who, who wants to talk about this? Who, who, uh, who, who, who was stunned by this? Run it, John. Okay, Run it, John. so... Uh, as of yesterday, September 14th, um, the CDL at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time announced the beginning of Season 2 or the 2021 season of the Call of Duty League. And with that came the bombshell announcement that after over a decade of competitive history, Call of Duty was transitioning from uh, the console to be playing on PC with controller. They announced that the amateur scene Call of Duty Challengers is also going to support crossplay, so those on Xbox or PlayStation or PC can all compete and try to be, you know, the top amateurs and make their way into the pro scene. Um, and this is just kind of a gigantic step forward for Call of Duty esports. Like I think we are all pretty well aware of, you know, the advantages that PC can have over console. But there's also, you know, the history aspect of this we have to take into account. All of the the tried and true memories of Call of Duty on console. True. Yeah, bro. I thought I, that, go ahead, ahead Ricky. Oh shit! All right. So that, <laughs> that tweet had to have been scheduled wrong, right? Yeah, like twelve a.m. What the fuck? Oh, are they here, here's my here's my thought process. Some some interns on Tweet Deck, you know, <laughs> instead of going to press schedule time, it just yeah. press tweet instead. Because I've accidentally done that, and I was like, shit, 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 delete. Have you actually so, done that? Well, it doesn't. So, like, when I press tweet, it went up at like six minutes scheduled ahead, like from when I tweeted it. So I got lucky, 
and then I pressed delete and just rescheduled it for like six hours okay. later. Got you. But um, yeah, I feel like it was. There's no way that was on purpose. Like Twelve a.m. bro, like they trying that to hit the pros hilarious. when they're awake, bro. We all know they their sleep schedule yeah. is fucked up I'm, on them. But I I kind of think it was in line with like, hey, this is when the new year starts, and here's like an announcement. Yeah, like, I, I can see that because it was um like when free agency started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I I believe if I'm not mistaken, that was like the technical end of season one into season two like was that that yeah. minute oh. season one ended season two started yeah um, i take it mm-hmm. back then that might sound realistic i, I genuinely yeah. think it is real um like, or that it was like intentionally meant for that time just because of oh hey season two starting we're starting off with a bang yeah yeah and, uh, that's I crazy think- yeah. No, I was definitely shocked by that, and I was—I wasn't surprised about the reaction that it got mixed. Of course, a lot of mixed reactions, a lot of um, people not happy about this, and a lot of people just—I—I—I I, I, for one, I, I'm all for it. I, I think it going to this type of platform doesn't do anything but good things for the most part. 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, it's the right time to do it too, because we would be switching to a new console in either the PS5 or the Xbox. Yeah. Either, yeah. So. Yeah. And going, like, let's be honest, you know, this isn't going to... The only people that this affects is the amateurs. Yeah. And if you're not if you're not good enough already on PS4, investing in a PC is not going to change your skill gap that much, bro. Like, no, just really accept not. it. You're not going pro. I found that out. Hit the, the, hit the books like we all did, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hit the books, Junie. Yeah, yeah. for real. I think like the switch to PC actually comes with a lot of benefits that most people don't really think about. Oh, um, yeah. You know, obviously there was the whole debacle last year with the 12 tick servers, and then for the CDL they got 60 tick servers. But with pros being on PC, we could potentially see like 128 tick servers, like Counter Strike has. We can only do and you know, yeah, we. can <laughs> it's just gonna just be a just a hiding. I think it's gonna be like a better. I'm hoping for a better season two because season one was. Yeah, not it's good. gotta be a better season, man. I it just was, need a better season two. It was. To be fair, though, like it was mainly out of their control. Granted, yeah. the the scheduling of the seasons before the pandemic hit wasn't the best, but at the same time, like online leagues are never going to be as entertaining as in. No, well, well, just not even. Uh, I mean, if, even just separating from league just them and how they were coordinated with um activision this year is activision am i saying that right i don't uh, know what you're talking about i don't know what you're talking about talk i'm so yeah. sorry <laughs> hey are you cooked right now my guy i'm not at all i'm <laughs> so losing my thought for some reason are you talking Never about mind. the developer of modern warfare or are you talking about yes infinity, infinity, Ward. Be, infinity Ward. i don't know why i said activision no clue at all Anyway, I think for this to be their first year franchising, um, they did not coordinate well with Call of Duty, and it was just not a good game. I, I think uh, it was. I agree, I'd agree with you there. I think it yeah, was the 100%. wrong Call of Duty um, to, uh, franchising. So, yeah, so like, I, I just want to see something different um, for the second season. And I think definitely it going to PC. Is a hell right. Of no, like like you said, it was rough from the bat. I mean, even the developers said. I think I've said this on a previous podcast when we were bitching. Yeah. And Modern Warfare out. But they literally said, you know, this is for the casual player. We're not focusing yeah. on any competitive aspect of the game. And, like, that's where COD is now. It's so, crazy, bro. I knew the year was uh-huh. shot when they said the worst player gets better hit rec. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's enlarged in the hitbox yeah. depending on how well they can hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's crazy, bro. Steve, Steve you wonder a controller, bro, and the hitbox is going to be like a giant on the map. Right, fucking yeah, hit regs depending on your score per minute, bro. Never seen shit <laughs> like this in my life. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. That was nuts. I think... Right. Oh. Sorry, I, I have one last thing to say. I Go think the one, the one potential drawback that a lot of... Warzone streamers and players are coming to realize on PC is the accessibility of like cheats, mm-hmm. and like we 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 we've seen crazy clips on Twitter with people with aimbot and wall hacks and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and you know I I'm really I have a lot of faith in the next Call of Duty title with Treyarch. I know they uh, what's his name Tony Flame. Yeah, has already given us a lot of good feedback about you like, like that, what John? the game has changed. I do like that. Yeah, um, and so I think that there's going to be a lot of focus on that, especially with you know. The highest form of competition moving to PC. <clears throat> for sure. I agree. Also, real real quick though, 
Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. You had something. Oh uh, yeah, I, I was just gonna say yeah, we really gotta um, they gotta do something about the cheats because I know it's probably gonna end up being an issue at some point next year. Yeah. Real quick though, just give me uh, you guys' opinion. I know you guys said the trailer, a little gameplay of the new Call of Duty. Quick opinions. Quick, quick, quick. Ah, uh, quick. The trailer kind of uh, sucked. Yeah, I was, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna give it a meh. Okay. But what I what I did enjoy is the gunplay looks like Black Ops One, and that was like my first COD ever, so it's gonna be be pretty nostalgic. To you know get your hands on those type of mechanics again. I, yeah, I said the same sure. thing. For sure. Um, I did watch like I didn't like the trailer at all, but I did watch gameplay uh, from the alpha, and it did look pretty fun. It, it looked like that. Ain't nobody was fucking with the trailer. I just found that so funny. Well, okay, yeah. like there wasn't there wasn't much gameplay in the mm-hmm. gameplay trailer. And they yeah. do, if you notice, they edited out the hit markers for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, there were no hit markers. I was like, when I first watched it, I was like, oh, God, is there no hit markers? How am I going to know if they're dead? and <laughs> Or if I'm hitting them, even. But uh, thank God that was just the trailer. Yeah. I All think, right. I think Cold are. War looks... I think, I think Cold War looks fun. Uh, I think that it's got a lot of the, you know, like, key pieces we've seen from previous Black Ops titles. Um, and you know what we've already said on Twitter, like the the instant feedback we got after the like all the streamers playing it about slide canceling, uh, I, I that just that's just good faith right there. And I I am hoping that Black Ops Cold War you know can live up to what we hope it is. And I think so far we've we've seen nothing but hopeful promises. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, that leads us into the new score streak system. Yeah, have you guys heard uh, about this? Whose topics is? Uh, is it's, this mine. it's mine. It's yeah. mine. All right, go so, for it. So, um, so basically, Tony Flame tweeted out, um, the Black Ops Cold War score streak system incentivizes a greater range of play styles. Earn low tier streaks by contributing your part to team victory, but to afford the juicy high end streaks, you still need to rack up multiple kills in the same life to earn that streak bonus. So basically, the uh. way the way it works out is say you're like going 80 and 60 but you don't go on a streak you can still get that chopper gunner but if you're going like <laughs> 11 and 40 you're not going to get anything but a uav so yeah. basically your streaks don't reset on your death but your multiplier resets here here's here's my gripe with this all right <laughs> they what what cod was it they did it where I think it was Advanced Warfare where you could like set a specific support perk. Support streaks and ghosts? Support, yeah, or support streaks and ghosts. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I feel like if they were to implement any type of system, it should be like that. I don't think if you're going 10 and 46 on domination and you're capping the occasional objective, you should get streaks because you're bad. Just yeah, Streaks are rewards, not, I agree. not you know participation mm-hmm. trophies. Yeah. I, like I, think, yeah, I think it makes it for a more competitive game if you make them get the kills. I I'd agree. A lot of people, a lot of people play really passive, and I can just see that happening so exactly. much. Exactly. This is gonna even, oh, dude, people with LMGs in random corners this yeah. is gonna make it. I mean, it, it still it still incentivizes like going on streaks, as opposed to just getting two kills, dying, because like your multiplier mm-hmm. resets on every death. But I still would prefer like a um, typical score streak system. I think that rewards both like objective play and. Like actually killing people. Yeah, I think score streaks like the best. I if we were to like think about this in the competitive aspect, I highly doubt the streaks are going to be allowed if it continues like this type of system. If there's a way to like tweak it in settings, you know, where it's just like score streak or kill streak, then they might be allowed. But if it continues like this, we're going to see another no streak Call of Duty. I can see that yeah. for sure. I don't want to judge it though until I get to play with it in, yeah. in the beta next month, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what it is. We'll see what I, think, I think I, okay, I, I have two, well, maybe three thoughts about this. The the first one, like when it comes to competitive, because that's kind of how I always think about Call of Duty titles, for just sure. you know, what I do. Yeah. Um, that if there's like a toggle to make it so that your kill streak, like, or that your score streak, like, resets on death for competitive like i think that'd be fine beautiful and like i right. think that yeah. it really comes down to how expensive some of the score streaks actually are like say for example like a uav in like previous tiles was like 300 score i think 400 score something like yeah, that I think it was like for uav but like that, if yeah. this time around you know like it's spaced higher because it resets or because it doesn't reset on death say it takes like a thousand points or something like see obviously I, that's I, high I, but... I don't know if i would be mad at that if it if it costed yeah. a little more to yeah. get 
things like that, then I might be fine with it. But like, if if it still requires you to actually like do well in the game, then I think it's fine. Um, I just don't want it to be like a copy and paste of like previous score streak values, and then it's like everybody's getting an attack chopper in the final like forty oh. seconds, and then it's just chaos. Yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't, I think like they already kind of like showed that in the alpha. I think there is a bigger like point differential than actual mm -hmm. like score streaks. Like if you go on a, in a real streak, you'll get you know your chopper gunner within yeah. you know nine mm -hmm. ten kills. But if you're dying every round, you need to drop like forty kills at least a map. I think to get it because like I people would get it like one to two times per match. But if it was like a regular score streak, mm -hmm. yeah, everyone would be would have been getting it in alpha. Yeah. I will say the one thing I think was really interesting was like the cooldown on streaks. Like, if you're just popping off right and you get a streak and you use it, uh, there's like a, a cooldown apparently that even if you get it again, like you can't use it until that cooldown's over. And like, I get that that's probably try to prevent like score streak spam. Um, mm -hmm. I guess like it depends on how long that cooldown actually will be because like if the cooldown isn't sufficiently long enough, the spam's still gonna exist. But yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, all, all we really saw so far were, you know, content creators and then a bunch of pro players playing in it. Yeah. So that, right. like, when, when I play versus, you know, other kids in the beta, I might have a totally different experience than For sure. what we saw. No, it's been and that, little, uh, that might lead to, like, another complaint um, where people, like, everyone's getting their streaks, so nobody's going to be able to call them in, and then people are going to get frustrated and not being able to use their streaks. But, like, at the same point, like, if this is our only complaint, it, we're golden. Yeah, like the exactly. game looks so good compared to Modern Warfare. I, and and it, it's a simple fix for as far as competitive base because all you have to do is yeah, you put in one toggle. setting and you're yeah, good yeah, to go. yeah, you put that toggle in, and there you go. For sure, that's not bad. Yeah, I, I still just want to play on it to see how they have it, and I form my full opinion on it. But right now, I'm kind of yeah. I feel all right. All right. Anybody else on this? No. Aliens? Who had it? <laughs> <laughs> aliens? <laughs> we got aliens. All right, oh now God. this is a broad topic, but this, this, I don't know if you <laughs> aliens. But you told me to write down bro. aliens, Jack. Aliens, bro. I said, what's your topic, Jack? He said, aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw this video, but there was this uh, UFO spotting in New Jersey, and like hundreds of people caught it on camera. So there's no way for the government to suppress this type of stuff, you know? And uh, yeah, let's show it on the screen. There it is, bro, just floating in the middle of nowhere. Yo, I was telling my girlfriend this shit earlier, bro. I, as far as 2020 has been, I would not be surprised if aliens came down here. Yo! And just like, yo, our planet is dying. This shit happen. We coming here. You know, you know what my theory is on this, bro. That that UFO right there is like part of a reality TV show on, a, <laughs> on another. <laughs> <planet>. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just they're just literally roasting the United States for the entire 2020, Man, bro. Well, like people are people are saying it's a blimp. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they're saying. Uh, no, it's definitely. It definitely looks like a blimp. Like it could be, but I also I like to run sure. with it and say it's a UFO. <laughs> God, <laughs> oh, it's a look, UFO. Look, at, look at Jack twisting the narrative. Bro, 20, bro, nah, bro, that's 2020, bro. 2020 told him it was a UFO. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe 2019, Jack would have been like fucking yeah, blink, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, if I would have, if I would have showed you this video in February, Jack would said, "Awesome, oh, bro, that shit's crazy." Oh, yeah. You should show that shit to us in December. We're gonna be like, "They back." Oh, my, God. <laughs> Dude, my glasses are fogging up. I'm laughing so hard. Oh, good. Man, if if we've hit aliens in September, like I'm curious what October, November, and December is about. To be. Oh, <laughs> Yo, like, this year just keeps getting different. I've been, hey, I've, been, I've, been, I've, I've been through in the town. You guys see uh, Rick and Morty? No. You, you watch that show? Anybody? I watch the show. I do not. We're not all right, right. Justin, <laughs> you remember that episode where? It, there's these like rock aliens and they come to the earth and like have them face off against another planet yeah i know what you mean yeah, yeah. bro that, that's october <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that death battle shit I don't know. Yeah, bro <laughs> i wouldn't be surprised though it's 2020 <laughs> it's 2020 honestly i wouldn't think it happened Oh my All right, God. the Mandalorian trailer. I have not seen this either. Oh, it is spicy. Trailer? 
is beautiful. Is, it's, is, it's amazing. John, what what do you think? Um, honestly, I was really excited. Like they Ricky, obviously threw, oh, the, threw the catchphrase. Right, there, the, yeah. They threw the catchphrase. This is the way in there a couple times, and that got me pretty excited because uh, I don't know. Season one was really good. It was like a different take on like Star Wars, in my opinion. Like it felt in universe, but totally different from everything else star wars we've kind of experienced mm -hmm. and i and i really liked it i really liked the the way season one went and i think the trailer this morning um has like a, a bunch of good hints of where we're gonna go and i'm very excited as well right no i think like they have the right people in charge of this stuff that's why season one was good and that's why season two is presumably going to be better than the entire sequel trilogy yeah, sure. i did watch um, season one it was good but uh I really hope they don't do as many filler episodes as they did in season yeah. one. Just like they did in the Clone Wars the last season, too. Like, I don't... Like, sure, in the seasons, if you don't have that much, you know, plot to put in, I'd rather see, like, quality episodes than having to sit through 30-minute, you know, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the thing is, though, like, I could, I could sit there and watch the filler without complaining. I don't know about you I guys. Wanna, but, yeah, no, that's yeah. true. Like, um, I don't even mind it. No, but I don't know if you guys saw, noticed it, but... You think he's going to see Obi Wan on Tatooine, bro? Dude, yeah, I certainly could be hope. Interesting. Or, or Dagobah. That could be interesting for Dagobah. sure. Well, they showed Tatooine in one of. Well, it looks like Tatooine. I don't know. I don't think they bring back any. I feel like that'd be too too hard for them to do correctly I mean, if they went to a character like Obi Wan. Well, here, so here's the thing. I think it's going to be a teaser for the Obi Wan series coming oh, out. Oh, I could see that so for sure. It'd be I like a cameo that. thing to but tease the Obi Wan series. I got to ask you guys. Who do y'all think this is? I can tell you why oh, I think it is right now. Bro, she's, but, oh my god, she's from um, Fallen Order. Um, Oh, what's her name? Bro, you know, I'm, I'm that thinking she... that's Sabine, bro. I think that's Sabine. Really? No, yeah. wait, hold on. So, but I thought she was casted, like, that girl was casted as Ahsoka. No, 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 no. That's not, uh... No, that's not that's Rosario, not Rosario Dawson. Rosario Dawson, no. Yeah. Oh. Dude, if it's Sabine, I... You think Sabine that, would get involved in that's this? That's just a rumor, because her... Because you remember at the end of Rebels, uh, it's, it's like a fucking shot of Ahsoka and Sabine? Oh, yeah, no, I remember Like I, I remember them going off to go find Ezra. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I think maybe they could find Ezra, bro. I think maybe they could go that direction with it. Dude, if they find Ezra. But, like, then where is Ezra in the sequel, or the original trilogy? Wait, what time is it? Yeah, and original trilogy? I... I don't nah, know. I mean, like, bro, there's so many Jedi running around I, right now. I bro. know. That's the thing, though. Like, I feel like if <laughs> they Look, find Justin Ezra, about to say, no, no, what the fuck going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I'm gonna just rich out rock. I don't know. I don't know how an ounce of information is being passed right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> say they do like allude to finding Ezra with Sabine and Ahsoka, then that means that the three of them. Extremely influential people and powerful people just sat out the entire original trilogy fight. Dude, I, I don't know. Like, it. It's a possibility, bro. I I know, I just... It's crazy. Yeah, I don't think they're going to take I mean, it that they, way. They could always do the, the Captain Marvel excuse about like, oh, she's off doing other things, you know, in this time period. Oh, okay. that was the greatest excuse ever, not to see Captain Marvel <laughs> back on screen, bro. Fuck <laughs> 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 that bullshit. <laughs> Fake ass Captain Marvel. Anyhow. Uh, are y'all done nerding out with the Star Wars shit? I don't know what was going on, I'm gonna be honest, but it sounded interesting. <laughs> interesting. Hey Justin, you wanna talk about your uh, DC comics to take away? Oh, to, we, did. To... we did. We did, we did that, that last, last episode. We did that last episode, <laughs> yeah. but the shit was fire. Everybody knows <laughs> he's going out. This shit's going nuts. I can't wait. Y'all, bro, I'm so fucking. Y'all see all my DC shit back here? I, look, I'm a real fan. I can't wait. Yeah, the Batman trailer was fire, though. Thanks. I ain't gonna lie. It was fire. <laughs> All right. Definitely not perfect. Let me go to these questions real quick. Damn, this is a quick-ass podcast. Damn, where we at? Where we at? Where we sitting at? Oh, that's full of content. 25 minutes. Damn. <laughs> 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 hey, it looks like I'm making my time cut off, though. So. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Fair. All right, a little bonus episode. Fuck this shit about to be. All right. Uh, <laughs> wait, damn. Okay. One kid asked me, ways. Hey, guys, I was wondering, can you tell me any ways to help me aim better on PC? 
Now I can't oh, get yeah, his with ass. a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming. You know I can't give his ass. Plug in a damn mouse. controller. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. No, no, no. Aim Labs. Hey. If, I don't know if you guys have heard Dude, of Aim Labs. No, I mean Aim Labs, sure, but listen. Osu, play Osu over and over go. and over there again, you bro. You're going to be tapping on everybody. That's facts. Just just use the mouse and keyboard, bro. That's literally all I can yeah. tell you. Like, yeah. Just use yeah, it. Bro. I've gotten get, so get, much better in like the last year. Hey, hey, what the fuck? I, no, what? I mean, the, the, fir the, first COD, uh, the first COD I had, I had like a .5 KD. Listen, I'm not blessed with these thumbs just from being talented, okay? It took work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like... <laughs> Like for a lot, for a lot of PC shooters, like Counter Strike and Valorant, like you just, you just have it. to play. You just have to play the game, and the more you play the game, the better your aim's gonna get. As well as like making the smart decision and not just running in exactly. and like taking a duel. Like it, the smarter player is gonna win ninety five percent of the time. I'm a, at, a, yeah, at, a, at, a certain, at a certain level, mechanic it's like mechanics are out the window because everyone's on the same playing field for mm -hmm. that. Well, yeah, yeah. Justin, I don't want right, to hear yeah. anything from your mm -hmm. Iron One of. I can't. No, I can't come in on anything PC aim for <laughs> sure. I can't. Yo, I Justin might be like the shit. worst player I've ever seen. One clip where he literally like painted a triangle around. The yeah. Guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. On, the la on like the oh, live like, stream highlight video. Like, like near hookah, bro. That was yeah. hilarious. Yeah, no, my PC aim is god awful. But hey, it's getting better though. It's getting better. <laughs> Love to hear I, that. I clipped me a two piece the other day. I got. Good yeah. man. Good man. Nice little two-piece yeah, Okay. I've been Appreciate getting a lot better, man. too, bro, like the last month yeah, or two. No, like, I'm actually props, probably playing after this podcast, to BH. But, yeah, yeah, I'll play. Could, pro no. Props to you, though, for playing Valorant more than, like, one game at a time. Because that's, like, all my mental can handle. I, okay, every, bro. dude, like, so, you know, you know how you go skiing, you start at the top of the hill, and uh -huh. then you go, uh, it's a downward, that's how it is for me for Valorant, bro. I start at the top, it doesn't take me a while to warm up, I just get worse as I play. Me and so Ricky, I, got, I got one game in me each time I log Ricky in. Ricky literally went into triple overtime the other day. <laughs> the, the, and he did it as a draw. <laughs> we, the, Man, it was geez, the worst bro. game ever, bro. You Before, you Justin, play Justin, Justin, I'll make you not want to play the game at all. He, he nah, had I one kill it. in I'm the first half, bro. He had one kill guys, the man. entire first half. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> hey, but I got like he hey, finished got, like, like 14, twelve. Though. Yeah, he finished like I twelve and fourteen. That's cool. That's cool though. I'm not. I, I'm cool. I'm humble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the next question is. Oh uh, well, I guess I can't really freaking. I, I mean, I guess this can't really be a question because he asks. Oh well, I guess so. What are you looking forward to most in the new card? I guess this is a question. Yeah, because. We already know kind of mm. what's the end of the card, but what are you looking forward to most? Um, <laughs> not getting magic too bolded, bro. It's probably going to be the best feeling to be able to get hit across the map and not have to worry about your life I'm right away. For, I'm looking forward to being able to play COD again, bro. Like, <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for like, the passion back, bro. Bro, bro like, cause yeah. in Bo4, I could get on, and I knew somebody would be on, bro. Yeah. yeah. In Modern yeah. Warfare, bro, I get on. Yeah. I, 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 te I text, I text Benji, bro. I said, "Hey, Ben, you on?" He said, "Nah, bro, I'm at work." Well, I was like, "Well, I'm getting That's off." Only chance I'm getting off. Getting off. <laughs> if Ben's yeah. not on, I text Stance, bro, and then if Stance so, is working. So funny, oh, what the bro. fuck else am I gonna do, bro? Bro, that's fucked up, but that's so true. That's so true. <laughs> no, we used to play all the time. Exactly, bro. There was always somebody online. It ain't the same. Dude, and everyone's on BO4 now. Bro, bro. <laughs> like, you can yeah. literally... I'm down bro. to play times or eights more than ever. even 3 o'clock in the morning, I look at the CCL court. Oh, look, there's tens popping. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the hell? Like, my Modern Warfare, bad, like... Bro. Bitch, dude. I don't know. Multiplayer grind is a different type of grind, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, I used to I used to be on like sixteen hours a day. You know yeah. what I'm excited for though? It's for yeah. like those kids you know, those people that were good at Modern Warfare and only good at Modern Warfare. To be shit. Trying to adjust to other games and like they, they, like they can't talk anymore, bro. It's gonna be a good time. Jack, you don't have to expose me like that. I'm not exposing <laughs> you. I've got a few people in mind. One of them is my teammate, Joey Plasma, bro. Wait, Joey's not terrible, bro. Come on. Dude, Yo, I, know, I, just, kid, I just want him to hear it so he gets pissed. <laughs> bro, bro, I got mad respect Shout for Joey, Joey, bro. And I keep Shout, out Joey, bro. Shout out, Joey. Yeah. I think, uh, I think I'm looking forward to 
actually, I'm looking forward to, like, almost everything with this next COD. I'm looking forward to a, a sick bro. campaign, because I think, like, I think the Cold War is a super cool era. I think, uh, I think Zombies is going to be cool, because I know that there was, like, a lot of backlash about how BO4 Zombies, zombies was done. Zombies really going to be back, forward. baby. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah BO4 then, Zombies uh, was tragic. And then a, mul- a multiplayer experience with no flinch. Oh, oh, I forgot that's about the, that, That's bro. the experience yeah. I'm looking for. I'm not... Here. I'm not gonna lie, bro. As a as a sniper, I, I got blessed with the flinch a decent amount of times in my career, bro. I don't yeah. know how I'm gonna feel with that. I mean, I like take, take your shot. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, know, I know you got I know you got shit on because of flinch a couple times with that sniper too, though. Oh, that's true, no, 100. percent It's just yeah. those blessed shot like it's a good it's a good feeling when you get that lucky <laughs> shot. Yeah, bro, for sure, for sure. I don't like, know. Just like just like Rick, bro. I'm excited uh, to play multiplayer again. That's it. Just a grind. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I have not played Modern Warfare multiplayer at all. Hey, I bro. <laughs> bro, you one hundred and zero again. <laughs> Yo, I'm bad, bad, bro. Rick, Dude, you say, less. Rick, you said to pick one. I'm excited for four v four competitive Call of Duty. Oh shit. I forgot My that man. was fucking happening. <laughs> Dude, That's what I'm excited for. Hey, um. I know. Season two. So this is a short podcast, and we're kind of out of topics. You guys want to talk about the new CDL rosters? Oh, let's the ones do that it. were announced uh, yeah. so far. The two that yeah. got announced, or the three that got announced. Three yeah. that got announced. Who was it? Uh, Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota Phase and, and, and Huntsman. We assume yeah. Huntsman. Yeah. No, no, it, it's announced. Now they announced did. Like oh, is it confirmed? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, so <laughs> Phase is just an absolute slaying machine. Yeah, Phase is um, like. But it, but Cell again, our cities. Yeah. yeah, I mean they're they're gonna win the first tournament. They're mark gonna... like mark my words right now because okay. they're the most singly talented team there will be. All right, look. But as the game goes on, just like in Modern Warfare, people are gonna catch up with actual mm-hmm. strats, and then they'll have to start thinking I don't, again. I don't think anyone caught up with Faze last year, bro. That's cap. I think they just had like, a bad match. Like in all honesty, like maybe Dallas actually caught up to him, but like Dallas mm-hmm. caught up to them because a it's online. Oh, here we go with your fucking and- shots, <laughs> shots in the Italy theory again, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doing wrong, okay. <laughs> the one land they won, the top three teams. They were the only top three team there. Okay, Chicago and Faze were not there. Mm-hmm. Uh, aside from that, if you look at Italy and Chatsi's personal stats from that tournament, it was fucking abysmal. They were .7 and like .8 something overall. Okay, you transfer it online, all of a sudden, Shotzi's getting MVP with a slide cancel movement, sliding everywhere, and Illy's mm-hmm. like, support. It's just like, it's so sus not to connect the dots, that it's know, their bro. online players. I don't know. And I could, I could be wrong, I might most definitely eat my words next year, but until I do, I'm gonna keep saying it, Rick. Like, <laughs> okay. Hey, I respect it, I respect it, bro. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, anyway, yeah, bro, I think fucking Chicago's gonna win the first event, bro. I think they're super talented too. Yeah, and I think I, Chicago. I think it might take Phase a little while to like click, and then I think they're gonna win most of the events next year. Like, I, I who's think um, who's gonna be the leader on Phase? That's my uh, like probably probably, yeah, like RC is probably the most vocal. See, honestly, that team, I feel like all of them are just like they can all say something and they will all agree with it. Without even a tr- arguing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, three of those yeah. players have played together for a long time. And then That's true. Alec Especially, is just that, that guy that just, like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. You know, like, he's super laid back about it. <laughs> Especially with a coach like Crowder behind them to, like, reinforce, yeah. like, good Call of Duty play That's styles. true. Dude, I forgot he was like, so contracted. Yo, hey, Crowder might be the best Kai coach I've ever seen. Call him the ghost. I, I don't know, bro. Who's better? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. St- statistically, Bryce Vicento, but yeah, statistically Bryce. We love Bryce. But Vicento, also, but, come on now, shout out Bryce. Bro, I, 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 I watch motherfucker Bryce Vicento go on main stage and say, "All right, we're either gonna win this or we're gonna lose this." So I'm saying, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, 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 no shit, man. Like that's, that's- my coach. <laughs> All right, go hey, 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 none of them, none of them can compare to John Prosper though, and our new roster that we're bringing next year. That's right, bro. Yeah. I'm hey, gonna, I'm instilling the passion. <laughs> Make it happen. Me and Shaq GBs with John Prosper again, bro. I can't wait. <coughs> bro, me and Shaq do it. First of all, y'all should have used Shaq War. I mean, Shaq War Machine clip. Dude, yeah, that's what I thought when I first. Why couldn't we? Because it was bad words in you. 
Yeah. Um, so it's all, oh, they, okay. it's all like oh, yeah, I genuinely yeah. think that clip is funnier from Serge's point of view. Than, <laughs> it uh, is. It view. might be. It might be. I wish he would have used yeah, your I, clip. With, he used your roller clip like your your clip when you uh you got turned on when you let that guy kill you out of vents and when you and Sergio was confusing <laughs> the bomb and that guy. Oh you my out of God, bro! Yeah. Yeah. That one was good too. When I was pre firing the vent with the 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 two time Maddox, bro. Yeah, bro, I was reloading, bro. I was reloading, bro. When I say when I first saw that clip, I cried so hard. Like, you yeah, know, I was, like, for Sturge's clip, bro. Don't get me wrong; it was funny listening to him yell at Shaq for thirty seconds. Straight, I wanted bro. to understand everyone got the vibe that we were putting out, bro. Like, yeah, I yeah, they knew what the right, gameplay right. was. That was a good tweet. I, I kind of wanted to see like a grapple clip on Payload, just him flying off the map. Hey, I got, I should, I should have made a montage of that, bro. Like all the clips yeah, yeah, that I tweeted. Yeah. Do you still have that? Do you still have that Twitter the, the thread? thread? Yeah, of course, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm gonna need a oh, no, link to that. I, just I, I actually go back to that thread and just look at it, bro. That thread is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's jump into this rumor mill, though. Rumors. Um, I know at one point on this podcast we were talking about prices of the X, the new Xbox, and a new PlayStation. The new Xbox price did drop. And it was actually way lower than what I thought it was going to be. Really? You thought you thought I think... it was going to be more than five hundred? Absolutely. What? Yeah, I, uh, I saw. I thought it was going to be right bro, at it, that it's price. A, it's a console. I figured it would be four ninety nine on the dot. I th- yeah. I think that like uh, we're seeing this kind of marketing across the board right now. Like uh, people expected the new thirty eighty to be like similar price, like what the 20, 2080 went for, like twenty eighty ti around like a, like twelve hundred dollars, a thousand dollars for it. Too. But then they announced like a seven hundred dollar price point. Everybody's like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Uh, you know, they're being uh, 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 friendly. Uh, yeah, I thought it would have been a little higher just due to COVID. Um, Dude, I'm, I'm they, so upset with that. They know a lot of people are in the house because fucking like the Switch was like, they literally like ran out of those. Yeah. Because it was like the only game like that was kind of new. They ran out of them because everybody was at the house board. So I thought they, and I know it's supposed to be getting worse uh, due to flu season and COVID is <laughs> supposed to get stronger or whatever the case may be. So I thought we were going to get back on lockdown pretty soon here. So. That's why I thought the price was going to be higher. So I was actually surprised by that. I'm going to torture a second to say this, John. I'm mm-hmm. so upset, bro. I bought my 2060 Super like two months ago. No. I didn't even think about waiting, bro. I didn't even think nah. about it. I'm, like, I'm building. I actually just like bought all of my parts except for the GPU the past two days. What, what processor oh, did you go with? Uh, an i9 10900K. Oh, okay. Hey, my boy. Dang. You didn't go the right way. I yeah, appreciate it. It was uh, so. I not. I'm derailing the conversation for a second. But like. I knew like when the fall time came around that I want a new PC because my PC is about three and a half years old. Cyberpunk's coming out. Star Wars Squadrons comes out in two weeks. That's uh, right. I'm about to new buy Call that of right Duty now. comes wow. out and uh, playing yeah. COD on PC. Like I played, I played Modern Warfare entirely on PC other than the first month of Modern Warfare, and mm-hmm. it's like the game on PC versus console is just night and day. Oh, 100%, so bro. I've better. been I've been playing Warzone on PC since I built my new one. And, like, I went back to console, like, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, wow, it, bro. bro like, this shit's like, so different. This shit's so <laughs> choppy, weird. bro. Hey, like, this, this shit, shit is different. different. Yeah, it's yeah. a different game, bro. I'm definitely about to upgrade my... Um... Like I'm thinking, I, just got, I, just, I might, I might, I might just build a second PC and just put my 2060 in my new one, and then just buy like yeah. a 20 or 3080 or something. But or I might just no, resell just it or something. Who part. knows? I've got a, I've got a rumor. If hey, you Justin, know. just rip somebody off for his PC, bro. First of all, I did not rip. John, I got a steal though. I did hey, get a steal from the guy. Bro. I got like a, I got like an i7. Uh, I'll, fucking, I'll tell you his specs right. I, I think I got an i7, a 1080. What kind of i7? 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, Okay. Okay. Nah. So he got a he got a i7, uh, 7700, a 1080, 7700. Six, yeah, 16 gigs of RAM, a one terabyte SSD, a Razer Black Widow keyboard, a Razer Death Adder, and a a monitor for a thousand bucks. Well, that that seems pretty reasonable. And I got it's not, and I got, 11, not, and I, got yeah. I got eleven terabytes. Of storage. Nah, that PC alone is a thousand, but he got the keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Nah, that PC alone's eight hundred dollars. Nah, it's about graphics a thousand. Nah, I mean, if you count the case, what kind of case is it, bro? Is it a cheap case or? No, nah, it's not case? a cheap case. Uh, it's not a cheap case on it. Right. I don't know what it is, but it's nice. Anyway, but hey, I'm glad he was selling the PC. I've got one more rumor. If y'all are interested, all right, let's right. Uh, the rumor is is that Sony had to cut how many PlayStation Fives are coming out by about four million. 
uh, units due to them not being able to produce enough of their like custom design chips and how that's going to affect <laughs> people oh. buying it. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but they, a couple weeks ago, they sent out an email blast to some like PSN users that are like, hey, uh, PS5 is coming. Uh, we're we're going to like raffle off essentially like who gets to pre-order. Uh, so you have to like enter your PSN. Yeah, I signed and, up for it. I yeah. signed up for it too. Um, and I guess I guess I like not. the question is how no, many I don't I'm not, not going to buy available. one now. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't need one now since they said COD's going PC. I might buy one in like two years or something, but no. yeah, that's, that's that's my. But I wanted one. Well, never mind because I don't like think the, that's a PS4 exclusive man, game. The, new, the only uh, one I would get it for, well, like, I just don't want to drop five hundred dollars just to play the new Spider-Man game. Like, bro, that's, dude, the that's why. Hey, I'm doing that. I'm gonna be honest. That's the only reason I would get it though. Like, yeah, I would have to than, get it just because if it was any other game. Coming out, I wouldn't, but because it's that, I love that movie so much. I love Miles so Morales good. so much, bro. I gotta get it. Miles I'm gonna be Morales. honest with you guys. I don't have a job right now. Like I can't swing that if I don't have to, bro. Yeah, Miles yeah. is gonna have to wait. I feel yeah, you, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to like the the new Horizon or what was it, Horizon Zero Dawn? It did look good. It did look Second good. Second game I, coming out. Uh, know, the the Ratchet about. and Clank game also looks pretty cool. So, yeah. And Cyberpunk. I'm I mean, excited. there was this like space game I saw. What was it? I don't know. He like started on the ground and like things were falling from the sky and he was like climbing up to a display. It was like a PS5 I know like teaser. About. I know. What yeah. you're that that seems like stupid interesting. So it if does. that if they like if that and like they release more info about that and it intrigues me, then that's like two games and I'm like, shit. I'll probably hey, drop then, money then on. Hey, then, then you got to buy a console and two games at, at seventy bucks. Dude, I know. Dude, I know. That's six hundred forty bucks. Well, I got to wait to graduate and be fully employed, bro. It's just not looking good. Man, yeah, bro, and I'm money. I want to buy all these other games that came out. Like I like to play Madden and like 2K and stuff, but I'm waiting just talking about a PS5. I, I might just buy those on PC too, yeah. or I might get a uh, like the the cheap Xbox and get something on there. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But that's it for rumors. That is it for rumors. Um, anybody else? Uh, listen, somebody else had another rumor. I think of no. All right, uh, so uh, last week we talked about the switch to four v four, and that happened. Well, that did happen. That did happen. I forgot about that. I forgot we talked about that. Yeah, that did happen. Shit, it's a lot happening for this card. I'm excited for, like I said, season two. Um, I hope that it's way different and way better because uh, I know they could have definitely did better than they did that first year around. But with the roster changes, with it going to PC, I, I think it's definitely on the up and up for sure. For sure. I'm looking for sure. forward to it. <laughs> but all right guys we are going to end the podcast here <clears throat> unfortunately this is all we have as far as content but i feel like we talked about a lot covered a lot uh said a lot uh discussed a lot again rest in peace to chadwick Bozeman, man rest in power shout out to everybody and his family i hope uh may god be with all of those people in their hearts and stuff uh in this time and um next week no two weeks from now we're gonna hear the next episode hopefully we find out if there's any more rumors that come out we're gonna have rumors for next week and then we have a lot more to talk about as 2020 keeps getting crazier by the fucking day hey, second man. night this shit is literally i'm pretty oh my god there's a fire outside like this is just crazy <laughs> it's like that crazy hey like, that's crazy we need to talk about the fires before you're burning bro i'm burning bro i'm burning the entire <laughs> west coast is burning bro <laughs> Oh, I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you know what bamboozles my mind is like people actually purposely started those fires too. What? Oh, really? Yeah, the ones near San Francisco. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bro, there's there's a fire near me. That shit was started by a gender reveal, bro. And this shit been burning for <laughs> a week and a half. <laughs> a gender reveal. <laughs> a gender reveal. I was like, no, bro, we got to really start throwing folks ass in jail. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> And this shit, I'm looking at these uh, photos, like the end of the world around that motherfucker. Yeah, I, bro, I, that I'm was, looking outside yeah, right dude. now. I can't even see more than what it's probably like 300 feet right now. It's all smoky and shit. Really? Wow. I ain't gonna lie though. The pictures they got was kind of hard. The kind of pictures they hey, got. Hey, hey, hundred percent. They kind of hard. That baby's gonna. That baby's gonna pop out with horns, bro. <laughs> 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 no, dude, bro this motherfucker, the devil. Hey, that's a hell of a story, bro. Let's hear it out, son. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> nah, bro. People are been. This, 2020 has been wild. People have been funny. People have been posting like little parental advisory stickers on all the photos. <laughs> Drop, talking about they dropping albums and mixtapes. Like that shit is <laughs> hilarious. Like I'm just thinking it's funny. But 2020 is fucking crazy. And I, I honestly, I just don't think it can get worse. But I know it will. But I just like it's whatever, bro. I'll see you guys next time on the podcast. I hope you guys have a great one. Peace.